Every mistake you do can be costly. It will be a blow for them, really, if they don't win it. This is a great generation of players that they have right now. Until the season is over, you cannot predict really who's going to win. Colo, City-Arsenal, Wednesday night. Obviously a massive game. From an Arsenal point of view, people, given they've dropped a couple of points over the last couple of weeks, maybe saying that the pressure's getting to them a little bit, mm. you know, choking a little bit. Some people say they've, that they're bottling the title race at the moment. Is that a fair accusation? Why do you think Arsenal have, have found it tough going over the past couple of weeks? It's always hard when you go to the end of the season and you are not far from winning your title. You know, I've been in there. I can tell you for those players, it's not easy. You know, every pass, every control, every mistake you do, you know, can be costly. And that puts some, a, lot, a lot of stress on the players. And it's, it's not easy, but at the same, thing, at the same time for me, you know, no one expects Arsenal to be where they, they are now. And they have to take that as an opportunity. You know, if they win it, it's great. If they don't, no one will say anything. That's why for me it's very important to just, you know, feel like, let's go for it, give everything we got. No one expects us to be where we are. We are doing better than anyone was thinking, thinking before. We just carry that and try to do our best and, 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 and see uh, where we can end up. Uh, at the end of the season. We were having this debate on TalkSport last week, actually, that if Arsenal don't win the league now, yeah, sure, no one expected them to win at the start of the season because they've led for such a long period of time. Would it be a good season or not coming second? Some say, like you, no, of course it would be. Pressure's off them. But some say, you know, you can't leave for this amount of time, not win the league, and then still say it's it's a good season. Where do you, where do you sit on that one? It would be a blow for them, really, if they don't win it. When I say that, because... Uh, you know, this is an incredible opportunity for them to win it. But at the same time, when you look at things and you look at where Arsenal was before Ateta, you know, it was tough. Ateta came with Edu, they done an incredible, great job. Uh, uh, took the player that they had to take out, uh, out. They bring the players that they needed. The great, uh, fantastic chemistry between the players, great environment, hardworking environment, professional environment. And you could see the fans are buzzing. The fans are very happy. They play incredibly good football. And but you know that moment is a money time moment really. Mm. And you know the the players feel the pressure. The club feel the pressure. But at the same time, you you have to enjoy that because this is a great generation of players that they have right now. And those players will stay together, and they will be even better next season. And uh, they have to enjoy the end of the season. You know, keep putting uh, Mon City under pressure and see if they can nick that. One thing Arsenal's dip in form has coincided with is the absence of, of William Saliba at centre-back. As a former defender yourself, um, how impressed have you been with him this season? And sort of how big of a blow is it that he hasn't played the last couple of weeks and won't be available for, for Wednesday evening? Um, it's been a big surprise, in my opinion. You know, he's been doing better than anybody was expecting. You know, he uh, surprised the team, he spread everyone. Of course, he's tough down because Saliba is not there. When you have a partnership that you've been playing with him for so much, for so long, and he is injury and he's out from, this, from the team, it's always difficult for, 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 for Gabriel, I guess, at the moment, because he needs to adapt to uh, holding right now. Uh, and for holding as well, it's not easy, you know, because he's. He need to prove everybody's putting pressure on him, thinking that oh, because Saliba is not there, it's tough. Yeah, but the boy is doing his best, you know, and you are quiet for that. You know, when you have one player out, there's another one coming who have to take the, the, the responsibility. And it's up to the team to help him, to help all him to get uh, to, to get better performance. And I, I don't think it's only Saliba right now. For me, it's all the squad. You know, Arsenal at the moment, they're leading games, but they can't finish games. And you know, that's what they need to do uh, for the rest of the season. From a Man City point of view, they're looking pretty unstoppable at the moment. Um, do they win the treble? Can anyone stop them domestically or in Europe? In Europe, as we know, it's tough for them. It's a challenge. And for me, their stress will be there, you know, because, you know, everybody expect them to win that. And they haven't not done that yet. And you could see like, uh, like against Arsenal as well, you know, Arsenal is st uh, a little bit stressed at the moment because they haven't won the league for mm. quite a long time. The players are not used to that. Man City players, they're really stressed for Champions League. You know, it's not easy. You know, they have to play Real Madrid. We beat them last time. Yeah. It's going to be a tough game. 
very very tough game and again when you haven't won a trophy that you're chasing the stress is there yeah. it's hard it's no easy like it's more of a mental block it's, now it's a mental thing things exactly ability more than ability mm. because it's, it's almost how you're feeling oh i can uh, I'm, I'm close but i haven't done that and i'm stressed but as soon as you do it you you feel you relax and then you can cope with that better and i'm sure that uh, that will be a challenge for for man city in the champions league but i still believe they can do it and uh, i think in the premier league we know uh, they are capable of doing it anyway. They are capable of winning that trophy, no problem. One thing they have got is Erling Haaland. You as a centre-back have played against and with some of the, the very best strikers the Premier League in the world has ever seen. When you watch Haaland play as a former centre-back, I mean, is there anything you, if you were playing, would do or look to do to try and stop this guy? Is he, is he, is he stoppable? Because at the moment, I mean, it doesn't matter who he comes up against. You know, an Erling Haaland hat trick—it almost, <laughs> it almost feels inevitable, doesn't it? Every game. Ah, he's 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 a he's a, he's a brilliant player. He's fantastic. He's um, he's a goal scorer. His movement in the box is incredible. If you stop De Bruyne providing the ball, that can help a lot uh, because when the ball gets in the box, ha Haaland is really good. He can score from the header. He can score for both feet. His reaction. Uh, when everybody uh, uh, stop, uh, 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 no moving the box, he is still yeah. moving. You you can stop that. You can stop uh, uh, Kevin De Bruyne uh, uh, feeding him a little bit. With this city team closing in on greatness, during the treble already, people are looking at this team and comparing them to the United team that won the treble in '99, and also as well comparing them to your, the Arsenal team that you played in the Invincibles, which obviously achieved a different type of greatness. But some say that this city team perhaps. Is the best team this this Premier League year has ever seen. Is that fair, or, or do you think you're invincible? Or you and Ray Parler could, uh, could, <laughs> could could stop this Man City team? Uh, uh, you know they're playing unbelievable football. Yeah, the manager is fantastic. Uh, the team is full of top players. Um, but I will say everything comes from the manager. The manager is incredibly good. Pep is doing an unbelievable job. Uh, he's making this team playing dream football. Definitely, mm. uh, our era is different. You know we were. Uh, we were a different team. We were played in uh, against different players, against different teams, and I would say like both team at the time, even the United time was great as well. And uh, it's different to compare. But the only thing you could do is just to find a game. I don't think it's possible to do it because we are too old now, you know. And uh, yeah, Ray Parler that's still it. proper football. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're looking for a good Nick as well. I've got to say, no. I think Ray will look better than me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and final question on the game, is it as simple as whoever wins this game wins the league now? Are we at that stage of the year where this essentially feels like a, a shootout to win the league? Still a few games to go, but I still believe that the team we're going to win will have some uh, some advantage mentally. Yeah. Because that uh, that show the supremacy of that team and that will show that uh, this team are capable of going to win. But at the same time, until the season is over, you know, you cannot predict really who's going to win. Carlo, thank you very much. No problem. Pleasure.